Martin Davies from Frontier Advisory is with us on this budget day. Martin, thanks for coming. Thanks, Alec. You're an expert on China. <coughs> Do you think the Chinese will be looking at this budget with... Uh, at all or uh, with any excitement? Well, I think, I think from a, a Chinese sort of Africa perspective, the Chinese always look to us to be the, are we really, and this is their question, are we really the, uh, the sort of launch pad, the gateway for capital, Chinese capital coming into Africa? And I think for us to sort of increasingly, I think an argument's wearing thin somewhat. Africa's obviously very sort of complex and heterogeneous and fragmented. But nothing would stake our claim in the ground for, for that claim, for to be the gateway for capital of the continent than a high growth economy, whether you're looking at it from Beijing, you're looking at it from London or New York. Mm, and 2% uh, uh, growth this year downgraded from 2.5% just uh, five months ago. Yeah. It doesn't make us a high growth yeah, well, economy. Yeah, we just figures yesterday 1.5% for last year. I mean, we, this is a, a, a sluggish performance. 1.9% the year before. So 2% will actually be the best yeah. in three. <laughs> again, it's, again, this is not a, we're not a V-shaped economy mm. where you see certain economies, think US to an extent, think Singapore perhaps, think Korea, where, where the economy reacts to shock very quickly, but also recovers very quickly. These figures, we GDP figures, are continuously being eroded uh, incrementally downwards. Well, Eskom that, is being blamed. Is that right? Well, I think it's beyond Eskom. This is this is this is not not something which is a single event or an impact moment. This is structural, as people would say. So, what are the structural issues the economy to sort out to grow at a more um, a more decent expected rate? Uh, where what is the speed limit of our growth? Uh, maybe people would say maybe it's three percent. It used to be three and a half. Now it's three. Perhaps now it's two. Uh, and as like we were talking about a few days ago, is is South Africa going to become the Japan of Africa, where you have a fantastic cluster of corporations of corporates, world class leading companies listed on the JSC, but but uh, you know originating and operating in what is a a, a flat line economy, momentum economy at best. And if I was saying this to Japanese policymakers in 1990, they'd probably say, no, we're going to reform. We're going to structure reform. No matter how much money has been spent on infrastructure in the last 20, 30 years in Japan, Japan has barely grown beyond 1%. Martin Davies, some wise words. He is the chief executive of Frontier Advisory.